Welcome to How to Yu-Gi-Oh! Breakdown TCG Game State 1. Card Game Landscape 2. Expenses 3. Growth Card Game Landscape So, what I'm going to be talking about in this video is the Card Game Landscape of Yu-Gi-Oh! Card Game Landscape, you know, of recent years isn't the same as when Yu-Gi-Oh! first came out. Facts. When Yu-Gi-Oh! first came out in 1996, Yu uh, Konami had a very ferocious and very successful, uh, uh, you know, advertising plan, you know, with putting television out there, you know, for the kids and all manners of things. And I got into it, and that's how it built its empire that we have today. But unfortunately, right now, things are a bit different, like 20 years on the 25th anniversary, things are a bit different in the card gaming landscape. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! is no longer part of the big three. The big three being uh, Magic, Pokemon, and Yu-Gi-Oh! being the third. Pokemon being number one in terms of popularity. Well, there's a whole other card games that are out there. Another thing as well is that Yu-Gi-Oh! has been pre very late in entering the simu uh, simulator scene as we got our first official simulator in 2020. So we're the only card game out of the big three to get our simulator very late, unlike the others. So there's a lot of factors that have come about and have come into play, and we've had a lot of catch-up to do. And uh, so, yeah, our the card game landscape, as I say, is not is not in our favour at the moment. And this isn't really good. This is going to come into a lot of factors later as I talk about other things. But in general, the card game landscape isn't the same as it was in the 90s when Yu-Gi-Oh! first came out. Right now, we are in the throes at the moment of, you know, some scandals with the, our price ranges, especially with, uh, you know, the Wild Survivors set. We're not really in a good place at the moment with the sort of news and the sort of treatment that we've been that you know we've been getting lately this year in terms of sets, in terms of this one particular set. I mean, this has been the first time in Wild Survivors where we've had such a big uh, scandal. I would say, you know, affecting the community in TCG that we've had, you know, the prices being so ridiculous for a particular set. And it's been so obvious how they want to flee, how they want to fleece us in the community. So definitely um, this is a big uh, warning sign. And if, you know, if the Konami continues along this path, we may not have a future. But anyways, this is one of the things that I do want to talk about. Our game state, rather, I don't think is in the best place. So let's go on to the next thing. Expenses. I think this is such a big factor to the danger of Yu-Gi-Oh! at the moment. And I feel like we're not really going to survive. And one of these main reasons is the expenses. Yu-Gi-Oh! has been getting more and more expensive, especially, you know, in the TCG. And if we're looking at, you know, the card gaming landscape, as I said earlier, it's not the same, right? We're having comparable prices to Flesh and Blood. And Flesh and Blood, mind you, is the most expensive card game, you know, I would say in the world, really. Like, it's, it's kind of insane when we're having, like, prices that are looking pretty similar to that. And it's not looking good. You know, the expenses is one of the biggest issues. I feel that one of the biggest barriers that, uh, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh! has at this current point in time. This isn't the same. Like, and I want to make this perfectly clear. Yu-Gi-Oh! is in a very dangerous predicament at the moment. Because, yes, you can say that uh, Master Duel that came out would help. It came out in 2020. But we've got to realize that this has come out pretty late. There have been other, semi uh, there've been other stuff for Yu-Gi-Oh! Um that has that has not cut other card games have had other official simulators that have been out longer and when it comes to value for your money and the fact that you know financially things are not so great you know in the world at the moment especially in 2023 we're being hit with a lot of um negative um you know press and also like just money wise financially and in all manners of ways 
Yu-Gi-Oh! in the TCG is really not in a good place. We're having a lot of other card games come in and they can justify, uh, you know, their value, their existence. You look at Yu-Gi-Oh! and you look at the the price ratio, especially, you know, for just getting into the game. And it's just not worth it, man. Especially if you're, you know, as a newcomer, you know, coming in. Um, there's just a, not a lot that is brought onto the table that can warrant uh, people playing the prices that, you know, they would pay, you know, for a card game, you know, if we just crack down on the numbers. So, but in terms of OCG, it's different. OCG, like, you know, where Yu-Gi-Oh! originates from in the Asian side of things, Yu-Gi-Oh! is relatively cheap over there. The issue we have with Yu-Gi-Oh! is right over here in the TCG side. I, I, fear, for our, I fear for TCG's future, not Yu-Gi-Oh!'s future, but Yu-Gi-Oh!'s future in the TCG, not really in the OCG, because there's a lot of things that, a lot of TCG card games that have come out that are, that, you know, that are, that are bang for your buck, have loads of good value in there, and, and I think people will look at that and take that into consideration, you know, um, it's it's about things have got to bring value and things have got to be, you know, relatively cheap. Well, 2020 has been really good and, you know, the lockdown has been great for people getting, you know, an extra activity, which is uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. I feel our expense uh, ratio has not really been good and has really not had us have, you know, a lot of growth, which will come to the next point that I will talk about. Growth. Growth is the next thing I'm going to be talking about. Um, when it comes to growth, this is uh, one thing I have been talking about, especially with you know within our community and talking about and looking you know on Yu-Gi-Oh and TCG as a wider whole. Our growth, I feel, our growth ratio, I feel, has been stagnant, and I feel we are losing um, players to other card games. I feel we're not growing in TCG as we should our growth is absolutely abysmal. And I think one of the reasons for this is, first of all, is the difficulty. The difficulty of learning Yu-Gi-Oh! again, it cannot be understated, is is just ridiculous. I think with the... And the thing is, is that the card gaming landscape, again, isn't the same as it was in the 90s. You know, players, you know, people now have choice. Like, you know, before maybe if the service was sloppy for a card game you know you only had pokemon magic the gathering and Yu-Gi-Oh to choose from and in tcg and if and if you want and you know that was it there's no other choices you had so but now things are not the same you have we have you have dragon ball you can choose from you got dragon ball that's come up you got one piece that's come up recently you have shadow verse Card Fight Vanguard, there's all these other card games. Sure, they may not have a big uh, community in the TCG, but their price ratio, their, their, you know, the structure of how you can learn the game, the facets that they have, they have loads of in good, interesting product and ways to just bring players in. The way they bring players in is much, much better in, T in the TCG terms than the way um, Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG brings players in. I think the way player, the way Konami Yu-Gi-Oh! brings in in the OCG is the way we should be doing it in the TCG, but for some reason, we don't do it that way. So we're severely lacking in the growth aspect. And I feel this is going to be something that is going to be a hindrance and it's going to be definitely be the, our Achilles heel for Yu-Gi-Oh! going forward in the TCG. Our future is looking very bleak on the growth sense. And you might, and you might think that, but you know, you might say that, but that's not true. You know, like we have, we, we, we've had look record numbers this year of growth, uh, you know, people coming back into the game, but here's the thing. And this is something that I have found out and it's very worrying and it's very worrisome. You look at, for example, um, Pokemon and people who come into Pokemon again, when it comes to their growth aspect. They don't need, they've not ever played the game. Um, uh, you know, they're completely new to card games in general and they enter the game. 
The same can be said for other card games. The same can't be said, in, and we're talking about the growth aspect in the TCG. The same can't be said for Yu-Gi-Oh. The, the thing with Yu-Gi-Oh, the barrier to entry, first of all, you had to have played, you find 90% of the time, I would say even 99% of the time, you find if someone who's who's coming to Yu-Gi-Oh, and I've found this a lot, they've either watched the anime of Yu-Gi-Oh, or have le- played the game, or have, were a previous customer for Yu-Gi-Oh. So they were like me, played the game before, left it, and now have come back. So we've not gained really new blood. We've gained, uh, we've only just had people who have left and come back. So we haven't gained anything in terms of growth, um, I would say, because we're not hitting the youth. And this is the problem because I feel in the TCG, if we don't, if we don't um, do something fast, if we, if Konami doesn't do anything in the TCG to improve things, you know, in our growth aspect, if they don't um, do things, you know, that can entice new players i feel it is a problem but like i mean we do have something coming up with we do have obviously on a year-to-year basis we have like the the mega tins that allow us to reprint staples and reprint stuff that happens every single year but it's not enough we don't have i mean they are trying to introduce now again for the second time in a row a two-player starter deck uh, thing but again these are these are practices that are normal in other card games pokemon does that a lot of the time other card games do these uh, practices to help uh bridge in new players but Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't do this in the tcg especially we don't do anything to uh konami doesn't do anything in the tcg to promote or to bring in new blood uh you know which i feel is a very very a serious problem and I feel will affect us in the long run. We come to the end of this video. So, as I like to say, you are one step closer to becoming a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master. My faith, right, is in your hands.